Hi guys and welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. This is going to be a new favourites video for February. <laughs> even know what month it was then. A February favourites and a new in products that I love where I like to go through everything that I loved for the month and also a few new products that I've been sent or I've picked up myself that I haven't quite used that much and yet I'm still really excited about them. So let's get into this because there's quite a lot here. Um, I'm going to start off as I usually do from kind of like base forward so you can see my whole face routine in case you're wondering what I'm wearing today you're probably going to see it. So starting off with the Estee Lauder and Victoria Beckham Morning Aura. I've had this for a while, didn't use it quite as much as maybe I should, really, really liked it, but recently I went to the Victoria Beckham show in New York, which was absolutely dreamy. Anyway, when I was there, they gave me an amazing goodie bag of VV products, and it reminded me about this product. Start using it again and realised just how glowy and illuminating it actually is. It really is beautiful. I think especially for those that don't like to use very glowy bases, like serums or moisturisers that are quite glowy, this is a great kind of top coat on top of your moisturiser or your serum. Like I like to do serum, moisturiser and oil and then this and then often now and again a little bit more primer and then foundation. It all depends how many layers you like because I know not many people like that many layers. But just over moisturiser this is a great glowy illuminating base before your foundation or you can add it in with foundation if you want your foundation to be a bit more glowy but it's just really lovely, very pearlescent, very sort of light cream colour so you just mix it in and just yeah, makes a big difference. I really, really love it. Plus the packaging, I mean, it's so beautiful. Okay, after that, I've rediscovered an old favourite, the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation. I've mentioned this a few years back, I'm sure. Still a big fan of this, and I kind of rediscovered it in my collection recently when I threw some things out and refound it. So I've been using this, and it's perfect for when I'm quite tanned, but at the moment, I'm not all that tanned. So I've been mixing it with the Luminous Silk Foundation from Armani in shade 3, which is a little bit lighter, and the two together have been a really lovely coverage. Nothing too super heavy, but also covering everything that I want, and then I always go over with concealer anyway to really perfect everything. But just as a lovely, it's I wouldn't say it's lightweight, it's not lightweight, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing lots on my face but it's definitely not a really lightweight coverage it's very medium coverage so I'm in liking those two together with the foundation also a big fan of this brush the Zoeva Petite Face Definer Zoeva have recently launched quite a few new brushes and I mean their brushes are amazing anyway I generally use only Zoeva Morphe Real Techniques anyway or Armani but this brush is just a really great face brush just for foundation for even for doing bits of concealer things like that it's not too big it's also not too small that you're kind of going for ages and ages it gets into all the nice little gaps and creases around my hairline that I wanted to honestly it's it's a big big favorite I think it's a brilliant brush and then I kind of hate myself for mentioning these because everyone else has but I feel like I need to and it's a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer well one of my very best friends in Chicago she bought these for me because I couldn't find them anywhere in the UK she got them for me, sent them over and I was ridiculously excited about them. I've got Fair Neutral which I like to put in the very very inner corners of my eyes and then I go over the rest of my face in Light Neutral which is a little bit more warmer and yellow toned and I like to put that everywhere else but honestly with these the hype is most absolutely real. They really really enhance the whole skin without feeling too cakey at all. Like at this point my under eyes don't look cakey, they don't like they've got too much on and yet everything is concealed. Better than anything else I've probably ever used so big fan of the shape tape. I hate to be that person but um, if I can find links for anyone in the UK I will do down below. So after I've kind of contoured a bit I still am using the Chanel Soleil de Tam de Chanel that's right. I'm still using that as my kind of contour, just kind of defining, but then I always like to go over with a bronzer, and again, this was a rediscovery out of my bronzing blush drawer, again when I was downsizing, and this is such a great bronzing powder. Bronzing and blushing. I say that because, I mean, this is shade 6, Organza Miel, and this, because of the orangey tones, I am loving it on my skin at the moment, it's like a blushy bronze. So after I contoured, I just brush this over with a big brush. I like to use the Real Techniques, so rubbed off now. I think it's like the blush brush actually. I love this brush so much. And I'll just especially use more of the orangey shade, make sure I get into there. 
and brush it over my cheekbones and then I use more of the darker shades all the rest of me and then I try and steer away from the orange and just go into the others for around the size of my face and onto my neck but obviously you're gonna get a little bit of that product so it's just a very warm almost a bit coral tone bronze so loud outside today it's driving me insane um, warm toned coral bronze and it just really warms up my face my features especially when I wear this eyeshadow look which I'll mention in a second but I feel the two work really well together because of the tones so yeah big fan it's honestly gorgeous I love this right now it's everything I'm using every day okay then it was turn for highlight and I'm really loving this one right now the cover effects moonlight I really love the cover effects drops they're fantastic but they take a little bit more kind of applying so I generally use those for more special events when it's just daytime and I want to quickly apply some highlight powder is such a good go-to and this is absolutely beautiful it really really highlights illuminates the face without looking too powdery too cakey or too kind of bitty shimmery it's just a really lovely glow I find on the skin and I highly recommend it if you're looking for something that really catches the light that isn't extremely over the top like the cover effects drops then I think you'll really like this so big big fan of that right now then it comes on to the eyes and I have created this look and did this over fashion week you may have seen some of my pictures because I was wearing like a green bodysuit and I thought it would be really nice if I had like a greeny blue shimmery eye and I looked around all my collection and realized I have one here in the I'm Amazonian clay palette. Again, I got this off my best friend in Chicago. She got this for me because I couldn't get it. Anyway, it has these four really shimmery shades down the side. Yeah, 16 matte shades just here. It's an absolutely beautiful palette. And when I first got it, I loved it. Obviously, it's, it's stunning colours, it's great, but I didn't use it all that much. And then, now I've discovered this eye look, I'm absolutely obsessed, and I've realised just how pigmented and amazing these are. Especially as what I started doing is using quite a flat brush, like this one from Zoeva. This is the Zoeva Looks Classic shader. Brilliant brush, actually, and it's so kind of flat, and it's perfect for packing on product. But I spray it first off with the Armani Prima spray. I mean, you could use any kind of makeup spray, just to wet the brush. And then pack it onto there and pack it onto your eye. Obviously, get rid of a bit of the excess. But in honesty, I was applying this. I didn't get any fallout at all anyway, but maybe that's just because I was patting it off all the time. So this is absolutely incredible as a bluey green metallic shade. It's stunning. And then to the crease, I go in with a few different mixtures of a very kind of transitional light brown tan. And then this whimsy colour, which is very terracotta, orangey browns. It's absolutely beautiful. I work that over the crease. I absolutely love it. It just works really, really well. So this palette is a gem and I'm absolutely obsessed. So I'm just loving this eye look right now. I feel it really works with my eye colour and I've never done an eye look like this before and it really kind of makes my eyes pop, I feel. Yeah, so big, big fans. And then the final beauty product to mention, which is probably my absolute favourite. First of all, the Bare Minerals Liner in Borderline. Gen Nude Eyeliner in Borderline. Wonderful, very nude -y light shade with a bit of pink tone. And this alone over the lips looks absolutely amazing so I go in with that always first and then this is what I've been wearing for the past few weeks daily absolutely daily so if you've seen a picture of me recently and you wonder what lipstick it was it was this it's a Dior Lacquer Addict and I was taken to LA for the launch party of this which is insane in the first place it was absolutely incredible I'm a massive fan of Dior as you probably know if you follow me everywhere I've been on a few Dior trips and just absolutely love that team but this is their brand new product and I think it's out so soon it might be out in America already but these are just really pigmented it's pigmented but with almost a bit of a sheer feel whilst offering lots of color and it's very balmy it's very hydrating i feel it really plumps my lips because of the way it shines and it catches the light it's not shiny and sticky it's just it just bounces the light off everything it's just this beautiful glow to the formula and i'm just absolutely obsessed i used to love the matte lip totally still love that still but this is all me I think this year I think this kind of formula with this gorgeous satin shine that's it satin shine that's what I'm calling it it's just absolutely beautiful and it really enhances my lips and honestly I can wear this all day and not need to apply a balm in between because it's so hydrating and that makes me so happy so honestly I can't tell you how much I love this this shade is Bel Air and it's the lightest one it's a very nude shade it's not got much pink in it at all it's just a beige nude but I find on the top of the pink liner it just oh I just can't tell you how much I love this and I'm almost I'm almost kind of down I mean, I've only got this much left now that's how much I can use now and I'm obsessed so that's the face that's kind of like my everyday look right now I know this is quite kind of dolled up for an everyday look but I'm just obsessed with it so anyway moving on perfume choice at the moment um can we talk about this bottle first of all this is the Armani Privé Rouge Malachite 
scent. It's more expensive, it's not a general kind of fragrance that you can get everywhere, it's on special Armani counters, it's their special blend perfumes as all the big fashion houses have like Dior, Chanel and Armani. They have these incredibly, and Tom Ford, they have the super special private blend fragrances and this is one of those. So it's not something that you'll probably want to buy all the time because it's not exactly super inexpensive but it's a very very special perfume and I can't tell you just how much I adore this. It's, it's not one of those kind of flouncy scents you know that you can kind of get anywhere. It's it's very unique. It's mature without being too mature. It's kind of like very like date night sexy smell. It's like confident woman smell I feel. You know it's not mature in that way. It's more confident woman like sophisticated woman. The kind of thing you smell on someone and think like that girl has her you know, S-H-I-T together, you know, that kind of smell and that's why I really like it, I feel like a really, I don't know, it really enhances my confidence, I must admit, I think it's one of those kind of smells, I think it's absolutely beautiful, so honestly, have a little smell of these when you go into some stores or if you're fancying, like, treating yourself something amazing, I think you will adore this, I think it's just amazing. Ooh, okay, this has transformed my hair recently and I could not wait to talk to you about it. It's really wet, it's come out of the shower and it's just like dripping all over my bed. But this is the Red Care Extreme Mega Mask. I've been feeling like my hair really needs a good hydrating nourish recently. It's just not been feeling its best and this has massively helped the texture. Like literally as soon as I start drying my hair I've noticed the biggest difference. So this is treatment and care extender for distressed hair so it's perfect for me. It's got protein complexes in it. I think it just really binds the hair again so I'll shampoo my hair, I'll also condition my hair and then I'll slather this all over, not in the roots but over the, the lengths of my hair and mainly on the ends and I'll leave it five minutes. I think you can leave it, yeah, well it says three to five minutes so I always give it five just to give it a little bit extra and honestly the condition now feels insane in comparison. Yeah, I was just looking for something that could really really shake up my routines and this is it, like a really professional brand product just to really enhance everything big time. And the last um, beauty product I want to mention is this styler from GHD. This is kind of like their conical wand styler. I think it's kind of really new. And although I wanted to kind of show you me doing it here, I'm going to be washing my hair later and just I prefer not to curl my hair and distress it if I don't really need to. So I'm really sorry. However, I will insert some pictures here of me when I did my hair with this. And all I did was wrap it around. I wanted really la like lightweight tousled um, curls. I didn't want it to be beachy waves, I wanted it to be curls, but they were really almost like dropping out. So I just tied my hair around this and then as I pulled it off, I pulled my hair almost like it's straight and like wafted it so it was cooling it but being like straighter. And it meant that it was really extending the curls so they weren't so conical, they were just like extended out. So try that, it was such a good tip, honestly. It, it worked wonders and it just meant that everything was more elongated but just had this little curl in it as you can see in the picture. So I just want to mention how much I love this. This is like my new favourite wand when it comes to creating that kind of look. It's so good. In honesty, in this video I don't actually have any like new in products to talk to you about. I mean the Morning Aura I've not been using as much. That's kind of much more new in my routine so I guess that's more of my new in. But yeah, I don't really have as many kind of like new in to talk about or else this video will be super long but I will next time. So I really want to move into fashion before this gets extremely lengthy. First fashion piece I want to mention that I showed you in my last video are the these Malone Soulier Mules. Mules? Malone Soulier Mules. They're a stunning metallic gold, rose gold, and also silver metallic with black features. And they fit wonderfully. They are super comfortable to walk in. And I think I'm gonna get so much wear out of these this year. They're just absolutely stunning. They're a very statement shoe. They've got something about them that's very unique, and I'm just absolutely in love with them. A jacket that I wanted to mention is this one. It's brand new from All Saints. So I guess this is like my new in product. I've worn it a couple of times now, and I just can't tell you how much I adore this. These Oxblood sections over the shoulders with the white piping to set this off and really make the colours look beautiful together like the black with this little pop of like a deep colour it just breaks it up from being a really just ordinary black leather jacket and I mean All Saints is notorious for doing the most beautiful jackets anyway when it comes to leather jackets but I also love they've got this sporty feel to the very bottom with this striping that goes around to each side this is over top by the way it's got this like out of my wardrobe with the top inside it but yeah I really love this sporty vibe to the very bottom 
buttons with stripes and it's just something I know I'm gonna wear to death. I absolutely love it and I love it with this eye makeup look as well. I don't know, something a bit kind of grungy about it and I absolutely love it. Another huge favour that I got so many compliments on, I can't even tell you, are these All Saints trousers that again I wore for Fashion Week. They're navy with this black stripe down each leg. They're more of a wide leg while still being quite flattering and they just fit really, really well. If you're looking for a wider leg trouser that you can still wear with heels and tuck things into it so it's a really like stunning silhouette then I think these might be for you I'm honestly obsessed with them I'll put in a picture again that I wore them on the other day when I went out to an event and I got so many compliments so just wanted to mention how much I adore these and finally this jacket is an absolute dream this is from Club Monaco look at these sleeves otherwise it's a very light ivory kind of cream shade stunning little collar like this and it just goes down, no buttons, it's just something you kind of throw on over your outfit to make it look quite sophisticated and pulled together. But it's these sleeves that I'm just absolutely just loving to pieces. They're so beautiful and whenever I wear this jacket, honestly, I get so many compliments. People being like, how pretty is this jacket? And it looks like it'll go with everything. And it really, really does. It's not too long, not too short and just very sweet and very sophisticated. So I'm a huge, huge fan. I have to mention it. And I feel like I've talked for ages now. So I'm going to cut this off here. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I've been loving this month. So many things that are absolutely incredible. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're brand new here, then please do click that little subscribe button right there. It'd be amazing to have you back for two videos a week and if you've not seen my latest two videos I'll leave these right here for you to have a little peek at. Thank you for being here and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Mwah.